Have you ever noticed how each industry has its own way of measuring customer service? There are metrics for everything, from the number of rings before you answer the phone, right through to the total number of interactions or touch points before a problem is solved. Whilst these metrics are of course important, how do you actually know what you're doing is being perceived as good customer service? I learnt my lesson of delivering good customer service a number of years ago whilst working in Libya. A customer of mine at the time said to me, Dave, do you know why I like dealing with you? Every time I have an issue on site, I can pick up the phone and I know you'll answer and listen to the problem. To which I said, it's great to have such positive feedback. I just wish I had all the answers whilst taking those calls. To which he replied, no, no one has all the answers. It's the fact you take the call, listen to the problem and come back with a solution. This is the support we need. It was at this point of my career, I realised that our customers do appreciate we're human. We don't have all the answers all the time. It was then I thought to myself, the value of delivering great customer service is listening to the problem, offering realistic support that details the timeline for a solution and delivering on that promise. Above all else, never undervalue the importance of good communication. Thank you.